Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. I'm getting some bloody light to work now. Tonight we're going to be reviewing Purity Longhorn Unfiltered IPA. Obviously it seems to be a trend these days to have these unfiltered uh, beers. Um, as a home brewer, I don't filter anyway, so it makes, you know, it's, it's obviously big companies do. So, great beer, real character is their um, <clears throat> bump on the thing. 5% volume, 330ml in the can, crafted with a conscience. Oh, that's nice. It's nice to have a conscience, eh? In the heart of the Warwickshire countryside, this little can embodies our love of great beer with real character. Brewed responsibly to leave an even better taste in your mouth. Please drink sensibly and know your limits. The UK Chief Medical Officer recommends adults should not regularly exceed more than 14 units per week. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> I would think most people that drink, and I'm not just talking the likes of me as a beer reviewer, um, most people that drink, drink a hell of a lot more than 14 a week. Um, bearing in mind, what, what is this? Uh, 1.7 for this, this is 3.30. So three or four of these, you're looking at, you know, 3.4, 6.8. And if you're drinking, you know, you could drink 14 units in a night easily, if not more, every night. And they're saying a week. Oh. And yet, in the Commons, the, you know, the MPs, they have a bar, and um, a very cheap or free bar, and they'll be drinking every flipping day. Absolute load of rubbish. So, we'll crack it open. I can't remember where I got it from that. I think it was Asda. Um, I can't be sure. So Purity, the, the company, the brewing company, they're the makers of uh, Yubu, which is probably their flagship brand. Um, now this, nice amber pour. Hazy amber pour, white head, and with it being hazy, I can't see any carbonation or lacing. I presume it's there, obviously. Now on the aroma. Hoppy aroma, very hoppy aroma. Before we go any further, on ratebear.com, it's got a rating of 3.45 out of 5, so a decent rating from an aggregate site. 131 ratings. Brewed with Maris Otter, rye, crystal rye and caramel to create a copper warming colour and hopped with Pilgrim, Chinook, Galaxy and Simcoe hops. Longhorn has both citrus and tropical fruit tones. And uh, I'll do a couple of reviews, I won't do any more than that. First one, 3.6 out of 5. Spice rye notes and a pineapple nose. Nearly got it down me again. Juicy mango sweetness cut through with caramel malts and rye in the background. Grassy and oppy and generally pretty good. Next review, 4.5 out of 5. Um, silky, malty, pleasant on tongue, followed by 1 to 3 minutes deep, earthy bitterness. Surprisingly good and needed the second pint. Isn't that the way? Um, if you drink anything and straight away you think, I could just neck another one of these. The sign of a good pint. Um, and obviously the sign of a bad pint if you get halfway down and it's took you two hours and you're thinking, bloody hell. I mean, uh, I drank a friend of mine, a good friend, uh, probably the only friend I've got nowadays, but uh, <clears throat> I went to, we went in, it was in Blue Berlin in Nottingham. And he says, oh, try this, because obviously we're all drink, beer drinkers, you know, real ale drinkers. And uh, Hoe Garden. <laughs> and... Uh, Free quiddy paid for it, which at that time, this was a few years ago, mind you, that time was expensive, you know. And he's there and he says, you'll love this. And I'm drinking that. Oh, my God, this is rancid. And uh, I couldn't drink it. 
I got hot, it took me all the rest of the night. I sobered myself up on it because I could not drink it. But I didn't want to chuck it because it, you know, obviously, it's, you know, it's disrespectful. Um, but, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, and I still need to do a review of it. I know taste buds have changed over the years. I mean, I, um, up till recently, Duval, which is the glass here, was another one of those that I couldn't stand the taste of. And yet nowadays, I can drink it and it's lovely. So, you know, you, as, you're, as you, you drink more different beers, you know, wheat beers, I hated wheat beers. Now, don't mind them. Can drink them amazing amazing how, you, how your palate uh, gets trained to drink different stuff like like with wines you know most people when they first drink wines it's like vinegar and then you start off with probably a rosé sweet rosé moving to a, a, a white wine a sweet white wine and then going to a dry and then moving from there to a red and you know you can evolve with them tastes and uh, you know it's amazing how, how we all are and the human, human body, you know, for doing it, you know. Otherwise we'd all be drinking blooming water because no one would stand any of the nasty tasting beers and wines and spirits, you know, that are out there. Although even now, you know, obviously I, c I can drink most things now and uh, there's not much that surprises me. I've got some spirit bottles that I got cheap off, off um, a home brewing company and the next time I get some vodka... I'm going to mix a few up and, um, or distilled spirit, whichever I get first. But next time I get some, I'll mix them up and just so I can do a review of them. And some of them are so quirky that it'd be interesting. Stuff you can't get in the shops, you know, you don't see, not in British shops anyway. But anyway, back to this beer. So I'm already seven minutes in and I've rattled off and then even drank the beer yet. So yeah, nice grapefruit um, on the taste. So, hoppy aroma, grapefruit on the taste. Nice bitterness in the background. Oh, tomorrow, Lidl. I might, I might have to do another video before I, I forget. Lidl have got their beer festival tomorrow, both in Britain, um, England, Wales and Scotland. Uh, the Scottish people, you lucky bladers. You've by far got the best deal. But I'll talk about that in another video. That is a very nice IPA. Uh, 5%, yeah, it tastes like a 5%. Can't really get the mango. I do get the grapefruit. It's lovely. There's a tropical fruitiness to it. And it's very nice. Very, going down a tree. That was really, really tasty. Really nice addition to the... To the uh, so the, the beer ranks from Purity. So to break it down, uh, hazy amber pour, white head. Couldn't see any carbonization, carbonation or lacing, but it was definitely there. Hoppy aroma, mostly grapefruit, bit of tropical, lovely bitterness in the background, and a very nice drink. Can't remember where I bought it from. I think it was Asta. I think it was Asta. And nowadays, with the craft beers that seem to be coming and going so quickly, you know, if you see something, you've got to buy it because it, it ain't gonna, it, there's a possibility a month down the line or a couple of months, it's gone. You know, and that's that's the thing about these craft the craft beer revolution. Um, you know, you've got to be uh, getting them when you see them. You know, don't go one week, one week, think, I'll get that, and I'll get it in a while. It ain't going to be there. You know, the supermarkets are chopping and changing so much now. And, uh, you know, you've got to be on the ball. And especially if you like something, because there's a good chance you like it. And then they change the, have a range review and change it, sadly enough. Uh, out of five. Very nice, 4.4. Very nice beer. 
Oof. I'm, I'm ready for another. And yes, I'm doing another review. Hey, hey. Thanks for watching. See you soon.